Hi everyone, it's Desi. Welcome back to my channel. So recently I went on a little shopping spree and I thought it would be super fun to show you guys everything I got, all the deals that I was able to get, and I figured this would be a good way to give you guys some gift ideas for your family and loved ones for Christmas. So I did do a lot of my shopping online and I did also do some in-store shopping. I tried to keep the in-store shopping very minimal due to COVID and everything, but there was just some deals that I really wanted to get that were not offered online which I kind of think is pretty annoying because due to everything going on with COVID I feel like there shouldn't be like in store only because there's a lot of people who are not comfortable going in stores so I feel like right now everything should be offered online as well so first I'm going to show you guys what I got from Bath and Body Works so Bath and Body Works was having a bunch of good sales but it was one of those stores where the sale was in store only so the first sale that I really wanted to go for was the soap sale. I believe, I'm pretty sure that all the soaps were on sale for $3.25, which is an amazing deal because originally the soaps are $8.50. So I went ahead and got three as any normal person would. I got this foaming soap in the scent Cranberry Peach. It smells so good, so sweet. And I really like these soaps because they clean your hands while also keeping them moisturized. The next scent I got is Winter Candy Apple. This scent is very clean and it has like a hint of sweetness. It is not as sweet as the Cranberry Peach. This one is more of like a fresh, clean scent. And then I got Snowy Peach Berry. This one is super similar to the Cranberry Peach, but it is a little bit on the sweeter side. And then this one is not a foam soap. This one is a gel soap. I like the foaming soaps better for the kitchen for some reason, and then I think the gel soaps are better for the restroom. I feel like gel soaps just clean a little bit better. Guys, my cats never want to be near me or around me or they just want to be sleeping but as you can tell anytime I start recording a video it never fails that they want to be running around ripping stuff up just causing havoc on my life okay so the next item that I got is this three wick candle right here this one is in the shent the shent this one is in the scent champagne toast I feel like this is one of the best smelling candles. If you have not smelled this one before, it has like hints of freshness in it while also smelling very sweet. I'm a very big fan of sweet scents. They are original $24.50, but the day that I went, they were having $10 off the three wick candles. And I know just recently they had their candle day where all the three wick candles are $10. I just, I could not fathom going to that because I knew there was going to be so many people. So I went ahead and just passed on that. I'm happy with my one candle as of right now. <laughs> so the next things that I purchased that they were also having a deal on are these car fragrance refills. If you guys have not tried these in your car, I definitely recommend it. They make my car smell so good and they last a really long time. These ones were on sale for three for nine dollars. Original, they are four dollars. Then I also bought the car fragrance clip, which they have in store. This was not on sale, this was original $7.50, but I know my mom has been wanting one because I have one similar to this in my car and she was trying to steal it, so I just got her her own. The scents that I got for my little car refills, I got one in Champagne Toast, which is the same as the candle I got. And then I got another one in Beautiful Day. I actually got two in Beautiful Day because my mom liked the way this one smells. The next thing that they were having sale on, an actually really good sale, was their Aroma Therapy. This entire scent, no matter what you got, was $5.00. And 25 cents. This cream itself is originally $15.50, and I went ahead and got it for $5.25, which is such a deal. And then I went ahead and got some little purse ones too. It's always good to keep a lotion on you at all times. These are in the same scent. I do not know why the bottles are different. And then I went ahead and just bought 
two little Germex. This one is in the scent Peach Bellini. And this one is in the same scent, the Eucalyptus. They literally both look like empty already and I've never used them. That is so crazy. Anyways, these were each $1.95. So that is everything that I got from Bath and Body. That entire purchase right there for all of that was, I believe, $58 or $60. If you've shopped at Bath and Body before, you know that that is a good deal for all the stuff I got because in my opinion, their stuff is a little bit on the pricier side. Okay, so next from my favorite store ever, I got some stuff from Ulta. For Ulta, I did do two orders online and then one in store. I shopped the online order on Black Friday because they were having really good deals. Okay, so the first thing I got, and I don't know why they put it in a bag like this. I guess maybe so it doesn't leak onto the other stuff. So the first thing I got is this Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. If you guys have not tried Clinique's makeup removers, they are so good. And I bought this because on Black Friday, it was 40% off. So the original was $20 and I paid $14 for this. And then next I got the Benefit Roller Lash. If you guys have not tried this mascara, you need to. It is literally so good. This is one of the mascaras that I started using when I first started wearing makeup and I literally love it so much. This one is original $25 and I got it for $10 so I saved $15. On Black Friday they had select items that were only $10 no matter what it was so I got a lot of those. The next items that I got that are only $10 were these Kylie Velvet Lips. These are original $16 and I only spent $10 for two or like $10 each, you know? This one is in the shade Goals. This is what it looks like. It's like a strawberry kind of red color. I'm not going to be swatching it for you guys because this is a gift for someone, but this is what it looks like. And then this one is in the shade Savage. This one is like a really pretty nudey pink kind of color. And then I got two of the NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Eyeliner. I have never tried this eyeliner before, but my mom is obsessed with this eyeliner. So I went ahead and got two of them. These were not on sale, but they were $10 each original, which is not bad at all. And then I got this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This one is the Smooth and Blur Primer. They had two different sizes, and I did not think this one was going to be this small. So the next thing I got that was on sale was the Ulta Beauty Box Prism Edition. This one was original $29 and I got it for $14.99. So I bought this for it to just be like play makeup, kind of get started playing with makeup when you're not old enough to really buy the good makeup and stuff. But guys... This looks like pretty good makeup to me. When I was little and I wanted to start playing around with makeup, I did not get something that looked like this. I got those little gel lipsticks and gel eyeshadows that would make your face look a whole mess. So I feel like for $14.99, this is a really good deal. I'm actually really surprised at the quality of this little kit. I got myself a Kylie High Gloss. This one is in the shade Snatched. I had never tried the Kylie High Glosses before and they've always looked so pretty and I had just never bought one. So I figured what's better than to buy one for $10. These are original $16. I got it for $10. It is like an orangey kind of nude. Wow, this is actually super, super pretty. I'd put it on for you guys, but I'm already wearing lip gloss. But I can tell that this color is super pigmented and super pretty already. So for $10, I feel like that's a super good deal. And then I also... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can never do anything without my cats trying to eat my stuff and just destroy everything. And then I also got this Kylie Cosmetics Cream Lipstick. This one is in the shade Madeline. The box is a little damaged. But it's okay. This is what the color looks like. Super pretty. Like I said, I'm not going to be swatching a lot of these for you guys because I am giving some of them out as gifts. And I want to get 
people touched lipsticks so so next i went a little crazy inside ulta first anastasia beverly hills does christmas the right way they always make special edition vaults for christmas and y'all tell me this is not beautiful i got one of these vaults last year that my sister bought me with one of the palettes because i believe if you buy a gift directly from the anastasia beverly hills website you do get to choose like something like this to put it in I just got a big, large, pink glitter one, but this one was specifically for Ulta. So inside, we have the Sultry palette, and then on the second little drawer, we have an Anastasia Beverly Hills primer, the liner, and their brand new mascara. And I will honestly say, everything in the bottom drawer, I'm 100% a fan of. I love to use their mascara on my clients. Their eyeliner is so, so nice and dries so matte. And their primer makes all colors look super, super pigmented. It says this little vault has a value of $94 and it was only $49 at Ulta. Oh, it was $65 at Ulta. So you're literally saving like 30 something dollars. Okay, next was another Christmas collection and I got this BH Cosmetics brush set. It comes with 12 different brushes, face and eye. And it also comes with a limited edition brush holder. So this is everything it comes with. This is so, so cute. I bought this as a gift, but I really wanted to get it for myself. This is such a good gift to give and to receive. BH Cosmetics brushes are such good quality. They are some of the first brushes that I started using when I first started doing makeup. And then this set was $28, which is not bad at all for 12 brushes and the cute little brush holder. I think that's a super good deal. Next, I got this cute little gift set. It is from Formula 10.0.6. It is just their three best selling masks. So it comes with the Draw It All Out Skin Detoxing Peel Mask, the Pore Be Pure Skin Clarifying Mud Mask, and the Get Your Glow On Skin Brightening Peel Mask. So I got all three of these and it comes in like a cute little ornament box for $10.99. One thing about Ulta is it has great stocking stuffers. As soon as you walk into the store, usually to the left or to the right, it's going to have five for one dollar like little things so i went ahead and purchased some of those and honestly those gifts are perfect for kids or they do have like some adult things but those gifts are just great stocking stuffers so the first thing i got is this sugar cookie hand lotion this one is a kid gift of course i mean you could use it yourself I personally am just not a fan of the very, very sweet scents. And then the next thing I got is this gum drop bubble bath. Who does she think she is? I'm literally so unprofessional. Like, I'm just trying to film my videos and I have animals over here crawling around my freaking... I also got this sweet and shimmer lip gloss because my boyfriend's little sister is always stealing his mom's lip gloss so i figured i could just get her her own and then i got the matching hand wipes for the lotion so these are gonna go together and then i got myself this nail brush because it is so good to carry a nail brush with you everywhere you go if you have long nails like this my biggest pet peeve is when under my nails are dirty so i like to pop one of these in my purse have one at all my sinks in the shower so these are just really great to get and then like i said you buy five items and they all become one dollar and then the last thing that i got is this kylie eyeshadow palette i don't even know which one this is do they have like names oh this one is the bronze palette i believe this is one of the first palettes that she came out with hey oh she dropped my christmas tree off my desk wow so that palette was originally $42 and I got it for $12. That is a good deal. I did not even know that I, <laughs> that was $12. And I don't know if I mentioned this already, but when I went in-store shopping, I did not go on Black Friday. I actually waited like three or four days after Black Friday and they were still having a lot of the sales and it was not as packed. I've never gone Black Friday shopping in my life and I don't think I could ever go Black Friday shopping in person, ever. Oh, one more thing I got from Ulta that I completely forgot to mention. 
I got this Dermalogica Clear Breakout Clearing Foaming Wash. And it has 0.5% salicylic, 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 yeah, I think it's salicylic. It has 0.5% salicylic acid, which is really helpful for breakouts. This was original $19.50, and I got it for $15, so it was $4.50 off. Okay, so last, but definitely not least, another one of my favorite stores. I got a bunch of stuff from Victoria's Secret. So first thing first, I got these satin sleeping shorts. They're just like super soft, silky material. So these were $31.94, they're original $34.50 and I got $2.56 off of these. And shorts like this are just super comfortable to sleep in, especially like the soft material. I just love them. And then next, I got some undies because how do you go to pink and not get undies? There were 5 for 30, which in my opinion is a scam because they used to have the 7 for 27 and they don't do that anymore. So, we're not going to talk about it. And then next, pink was having a sale on their fragrance and body stuff. So like... The scrubs, the lotions, perfumes, all that. So lately I have been obsessed with body scrubs, so I had to try a new one. So this one is the Cocoa and Chill Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Body Scrub. And it has coconut oil in it, so it's going to be very moisturizing. This was original $18.50 and I got this for $7.50. And it literally smells so good. It smells like cocoa butter. And it's supposed to be a calming body scrub exfoliant. And then next, I got two perfumes. This one is called Mary Pinkmas. It is a very fresh smelling scent with a hint of sweetness. It says it is frosted berries and white hibiscus. This one was originally $16.50 and I got it for $7.50. And then I got this cool and bright mist. It is chill pear and happy vibes. This is currently my favorite scent from Victoria's Secrets. I keep the mini in my purse. I originally only bought the mini and I became obsessed with it so I had to go buy the full size one. This one was also $16.50 and I got it for $7.50. And then lastly, at the front, this is where they always get me, like at the front by the register when they put like all the cute little stuff, that's where they get me. So. They had these hand sanitizers and I have a bunch of these all over the place in my car, my house, just everywhere because I love spray hand sanitizers. I feel like they're so much better than the squeeze ones. And then in the front, they had this little holder for you to put on your purse. So you put your hand sanitizer in there and then hold it so you put it on your purse and you never forget it anywhere freaking genius so this little holder itself was six dollars and the hand sanitizer if i could get it out you know what it does not say and i can't show you guys on my receipt because i did not buy this this time i like i said i have a bunch of them laying around my house but i will check for you guys and i will leave it in the description but look how cute so then at victoria's secrets because i spent more than a hundred dollars I also received a $25 off, a $75 purchase, and I also received this blanket. It's a super soft fleece blanket. Is that what it's called? So it's actually a Sherpa blanket on the inside, and Sherpa blankets are so expensive. This blanket is original $68, and I received it for free because I spent over $100, and I believe they were only doing this on the day that I went. Then I also received like a gator face mask, like the one that like goes from your neck to here. And it had like a drawstring and it was like really nice, warm material. And my mom already took it because she goes walking in the mornings and it's like super cold. So, but it's fine because I probably wouldn't have worn that one anyways. I prefer the one that goes around your ear. But yeah, that is almost everything that I bought. I have like 20 other bags sitting right there. But those ones are all gifts, so I don't want to do a haul for that one because everyone's going to know what I got them. But yeah, I had not gone shopping since quarantine had started, so I went a little crazy. But it's all good because it is the season of giving and it's also the season of treat yourself. If you know me, you know I'm a hardcore believer in treat yourself. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope 
you guys got some good gift ideas. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. I've never done a shopping haul like this before, I don't think, other than a clothing haul. If you guys want to see more shopping hauls, comment down below because I am truly a shopaholic. And doing shopping hauls for you guys will just give me another reason to shop more. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, head over to my Instagram to give me a follow. I usually do little mini shopping hauls on there as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what was your favorite item or what deal you think was the best. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. I literally had to sneeze as soon as I started <laughs> drinking my drink. Now <laughs> that hurts so bad. And there goes Cleo already eating the products. So